Last week, July 19th, the House of Representatives here in Washington, D.C., voted on a replacement for the No Child Left Behind Act. This new one was called the Student Success Act. The vote was 221 to 207 in favor of the bill. Only Republicans voted. This is the first time that the nation's sweeping federal education policy law has been updated by Congress since No Child Left Behind was passed 12 years ago. So let's go down the hall now and see if Shannon Kelly is around at the moment. Shannon works in NAFME's Advocacy Center. She's been following this over the last week or so, and she's going to tell us a little bit about how it involves and how it affects those of us who are more importantly interested in music education and music advocacy. Let's see if Shannon's in. Shannon. Hey. Hi, how How's are you? Going? Good. Can you go a second? Of course. We Please. wanted to talk to you a little bit about the, uh, the bill from last week. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. Yes. It's not great news for music education, this particular bill, okay. um, simply because it doesn't include any mention really at all of the arts um, and music specifically. Um, the ranking member of the Education and Workforce Committee, George Miller from California, did introduce a substitute bill as an amendment, which received some uh, debate on the floor on Friday. Right. But it was soundly defeated by a partisan vote of 193 to 233. Uh, Congressman Miller essentially submitted that just as a way of pointing out that he opposes the size and the scope of this bill, which, as you mentioned, has greatly reduced the federal footprint on education. So it's not just music and, and arts programs that are affected by this bill. It's basically all other subjects that um, Congressman Miller mentioned during his you know, talk about what constitutes a well-rounded education. The bill doesn't really include mention of any of those subjects at all. So um, not only for arts and music is it a concern, but just basically for all other non-tested subjects. So timing-wise, what is it that we're asking NAFME members to do now, if anything? Well, what happens next is really in the hands of the Senate. It's very unlikely that the bill that passed the House on Friday will go any further than the action that it received in the House, just because I think, as you've discussed, the two bills between the House and the Senate are so diametrically opposed. It's just unlikely that they'll be able to find any reconciliation um, once it goes to conference. So what we're really looking at is the Harkin bill, um, which did pass out of committee in the Senate and will receive floor consideration probably after the recess. So Senator Harkin has said that he hopes that it will get to the floor in early fall. And when that happens, we'll certainly have a call to action for our members, um, asking them to contact their senators to support the bill. The timing isn't quite right right now because it's not up for consideration by the full Senate. But once that happens, we'll be keeping tabs on it and we'll let everybody know when the time is right to contact your senators and to express support for that bill, which is very supportive of the arts and music um, as part of a well-rounded education and something that we definitely want to support as an organization. Great. So for right now, everybody just sit tight? Yes, and wait for updates, and we'll let you know. Okay. We're keeping tabs on everything that's going on. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Great. Thank you.